Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the principles of plane and descriptive geometry. In this video we're going to look at how to locate the edge view of a planar section using the horizontal sections method. So in our previous video we looked at the principles behind how to locate the edge view of a planar section using say auxiliaries. So this is a little bit of a, a shortcut method um, to locate the edge view of our planar section. So if you haven't done so already, it's probably worth your while looking at the previous video just to get an idea of what we're looking for. But um, if we take our scenario here, so we've seen this example in our last video where we have a section of a plane, so our small little triangular in space, and looking at it, none of the edges starting off with are a true length. And from our last video, we'll know that in order to see the edge view of a plane, you have to look at the point view of one of our edges and the way we get the point view of an edge is we first of all have to have the true length of the edge so in this case here none of our edges start off as a true length so rather than taking an auxiliary to find the true length of one of our edges and then a second auxiliary to find the point view of it what we're going to do here is we want to create a level line using the existing object and the approach that we take is we use a horizontal section now, the way I like to imagine a horizontal section is, imagine if I take my 3D object here like that, imagine it's in a fish tank, and I raise up a level of water. The level of water is always horizontal, so it's always going to be seen as a level line in our front elevation. So if we raise up our level of water like so, here we can see the water mark that we have where the horizontal section, our water level, crosses the plane here that's going to be a level line and always in our plan view when looking from above that line there is going to be seen as a true length so even though none of the existing edges or the original edges on our line is a true length we can create this temporary true length line of it so to emulate that when we look in from the front in our front elevation our level of water is always going to be level so we take our points here I'm going to take point B because it seems to be the most logical one and I'm going to just draw in my level of water. So looking in from the front, there is our water mark. So there's a level of water coming from point B. And I don't have to use an existing point, I can just take um, any part of my um, plane like so, but it makes more sense to take an existing point because we already have it. So there's our level line in elevation. If we want to locate that water mark in plan view, well we already have point B, so we know where he is in plan view. The point P1 that we're after finding is already on the line AC so we just drop it down project it down into our plan view and that locates as our watermark in our plan view so there's our watermark in plan view because it's a level line in elevation that line there is going to be a true length line when we look in plan view so that saves us having to take our first auxiliary we now have a true length line on our plane so like we saw in our last video if we look along that true length line project an auxiliary, so there's our auxiliary plane, there's our auxiliary plane in our 3D view, so this is the plan view of our plane looking from above, this is our plane seen as an edge view, we project our plane onto it, there's our point view of our true length line, so our line that we just found, we project our each of our points like so, I take my heights from my front elevation and I mark them off, and we can see we have the point view of our true length line and we have an edge view of the surface. So that saves us having to take an auxiliary. So we only have one auxiliary here as opposed to needing a first auxiliary to find the true length line and then a second one. We have the true length line before we take our first auxiliary. So that's our horizontal sections method of finding the edge view of a plane. Um, as always, I hope these videos are of help to you. So thank you very much.